Hi there, welcome back. Let's continue the story. What was happening in our previous video? Baya Ji was celebrating his housewarming ceremony and the ruffians were up to something. Let's see what happens next. Baya Ji's new house had caught fire from all sides. It had suddenly flared up. Flaring means something that's growing wide and all around. The women folk in the front veranda screamed in confusion. The guests stood up swiftly, quickly, and began to pull out all of the women like a herd of cattle. Everybody's terrified. Payaji was frantic, running around in confusion. He ran around crying, my house, my storied house. It's on fire. My enemy has taken revenge on me. He entered the roaring flames, crying, my house, my house. He climbed up, pulled the pictures of Buddha and Baba Sahib from the walls and hurled them down. Look at the amount of respect he has for, for them. He didn't want them to get burnt along with the house. As he was about to come down the stairs, it crumbled down in flames, fell off. People pulled up water from a nearby well and put out the dreadful fire, but it could not be put easily contained. Contained means controlled. Bayaji jumped down, quick jump, people shouted. Women and children were crying and screaming. Now that the staircase had collapsed, no one could go up to save Bayaji. Scorched in the flames, totally burnt, Bayaji ran around like a trapped creature, howling all the time, my house, my house. It was his fondest dream, poor guy. And then the upper story itself came down with a crash and along with it, Bayaji with a resounding thud. Resounding means an echo. People pulled him out. Bayaji was burnt all over. He was still wailing, crying. My house, my house. Bayaji's children encircled him and cried their hearts out. The guests were busy putting out the fire. At least they wanted to save the rest of the house, the ground floor. All of Bayaji's hopes had been reduced to ashes, literally ashes. What was the use of putting the fire out now? Bayaji was badly burnt and he was in great agony, great distress. He asked for water all the time. As his eyes began to roll in his head, his eldest son moved closer. He gulped down the sorrow that was surging in his throat and asked, Nana, what's your last wish? Sons, I want you to build a storied house. I have no other wish. With these words, his head collapsed like the storied house. Bayaji was quiet and the fire too had come down. Bayaji's mother wept bitterly. Your father passed away without giving me a burial. At least your hands should have pushed the dust over my dead body. Bayaji, speak to me. She was mad with grief. Bayaji's wife was sobbing her heart out, crying repeatedly. Who's done this evil to us? Let the house burn to cinders, but just save my husband. The entire family was shattered by this calamity. A calamity is a disaster. The spirits of all the men were dampened like a cooking fire on which water has been poured. In the morning, the village officers and witnesses visited the place to record the facts of the incident. Bayaji's death was the result of an accident due to a Petromax flare-up was their conclusion. They are blaming it on the decoration light, saying it must have spilled and the house must have caught fire. The house was burning before the house warming ceremony was over. 
and Bayaji was in ashes in the cemetery instead of enjoying the comforts of a retired life. After the funeral, people returned, hanging their heads. They were so dismayed. All of them were pained in the heart to think that having come to celebrate the housewarming, they had the misfortune of attending the funeral of the host. Such an ironic situation. All were sitting in a sullen mood, dull and quiet mood, in the pandal when Bayaji's eldest son came out with three to four baskets, a spade, a pickaxe and a hoe. These are all tools used for building. He outlined a square with the pickaxe and began to dig. The eldest son was digging. The second was gathering the earth with his spade and the others were lifting away in baskets. The guests asked in amazement, Children, you are in mourning. That means you have to sit and cry that your father's passed away. What is this you're doing? Our father's soul cannot rest in peace unless we do this for him. But what is it that you're doing? They asked. We are starting on a house. Not one with a concealed first floor, but a regular two-storied house, replied the eldest son of Bayaji. Now this family is not going to bow down. They have mustered the courage to rise in society. And the six brothers resumed with determination the work of digging the foundation of a two-storied house. Now, some of you must have found this a little depressing, a little disheartening. Why did this happen to Bayaji? It's so unfortunate. He didn't deserve it. But you, 15, 16 year old children, you are the next adults of our society, yes? All your childhood, you've learned what to do from your teachers, parents. But now is the time to learn what not to do. You are going to build society when you become adults. So keep in mind such social issues. Do not discriminate. Do not oppress people. Do not keep them where they are just because you want to stay afloat. We all should rise together. So see you soon with another chapter. Bye-bye.